Deuce, deuce, deuce. My man, my man. What's going on, everybody? One Pride family. Everybody across the YouTube landscape. All the Lions fans from here to wherever you are. Yeah. This is a victory post game, man. Feels good. Feels good, Deuce. How you doing, man? I'm doing great, bro. Um, it took more than what it took last week to get this dub. But we got it done. It wasn't the prettiest game. A lot of mistakes on both sides. A lot of injuries, unfortunately. Um, but we, we pulled it out. We pulled it out. And that's kind of what Dan Campbell was alluding to post game. So, you know, sometimes it's not, it's not always going to be pretty. Sometimes it's ugly. Coming out with that dub is most important. They did that today. Yeah, man. You know, like I said, a victory is a victory in this league. It's, it's not easy to come by. It's very hard to come by. You know, you can't get down too bad on your team when they come out with a win. But at right. the end of the day, you know, us as footballers, it didn't feel too good in the second half. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of things we still got to clean up. You know, the first half was pretty much flawless. You know, no complaints. Second half, we kind of unraveled a little bit and we got to clean some things up. So let's start out with uh, what we saw from the offense. We came out the gate, pounding the football, Montgomery, one series, Gibbs, the next series. Mm -hmm. We was giving it to him. Thunder, lightning, thunder, lightning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it, it kept everybody in rhythm. It kept Jared Goff in rhythm. Yeah. We were looking good, Deuce, man. Yes, yes, bro. Like the, the Lions, they finally got back to their identity. You know, you and me, we talked about it the last few weeks, man. It's a little frustrating sometimes when they kind of go away from what they're best at. And we saw last week, Goff, uh, what was it, 55 times he threw the ball last week? I don't ever want to see Jared Goff throw the ball 55 times again. <laughs> and you can cut those attempts in half and I'd be happy. Um, <laughs> They, uh, they got back to who they were, man. You know, I tweeted early in the first quarter that I wanted to see Demo get 20 plus carries and he finished with 23, you know, on 106 and a touch. Exactly what I wanted to see from him. He gets my game ball today, man. He has so many big plays, so many big runs, um, extra, just effort plays, you know, to, to get the first down in critical spots when we really needed them. So I was really happy with what I saw from him and Gibbs, of course, too. You know, he played well too, 16 carries, 73 yards to touch. Um, but both of those guys, they played really, really well today, man. That was the key to the game and they, they got it done. Yeah, man, you know, pounding the football is always going to set you up for success, sets up the play action, sets up the passes down the field. Yeah. Plus, they give you a little bit of help being Arizona, being, you know, a team that blitz a lot. Uh, mm -hmm. Opportunities were definitely there. I just felt like, you know, second second half, we got a little uncharacteristic, man, and the offense just needed to clean that up. Um, something that we yeah. don't see too often, a lot of uh, penalties up and down the offensive line today. Mm -hmm. You know, these are all the kinks that we're talking about. And they, they just have to get this thing uh, up and going before we face our next opponent uh, yeah. on Monday Night Football, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Um, right, right. I'm with you, though. Yeah. yeah. Um, but they still had a rare ball start in a critical spot toward the end of the game. You don't, you, you don't see that too often. So I'm not mad at him because he's he's usually pretty pretty flawless as far as you know, his penalties and things like that. But yeah, like you said, man, just working everything out. I did, I did want to say, too, about getting back to who we were, though, offensively, as far as why I think we were able to win this game. The first and last drive of this entire game looked just like the last drive against the Rams. Where they just said, we're going to run the ball down your throat. You can't stop us. Opening drive today, that's what they did. They sprinkled in a little, you know, Brock right here and there and things like that. But it was predominantly just Demo just run the ball down their throat. And that's what they did at the end of the game. And that's that's why they were able to get the win. So I'm with you, man. They, they definitely, um, when it mattered most, they did what they were supposed to do. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said, that second half is not something that bothered me because i know something mm -hmm. we'll clean up but you yeah. know it was a little frustrating to watch um as a lions fan you, we should at least had at least had 30 plus points this yeah. game yeah yeah we left a lot of opportunities out there we got to get jameson williams a little bit more implemented into the mm -hmm. offense. reverses and things like that cute stuff in the backfield i feel like we got too cute at time i did not like when we did the little quick huddle run for the, for the it, i can't say a yard because it was inches when you coach put, <laughs> right, right, you know, yeah. Faith in his offense like that. When we have an identity, listen, throw an extra man back there in that backfield with Montgomery and mm -hmm. get the interest, bro. That's all we have mm -hmm. to do. All the little cute hurry up huddle stuff, Ben Johnson. Stop it. And I have to yeah. go after Ben Johnson because he's the one calling plays on the offense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was just, you know, he's the one that says, Hey, give me something. So right. with Ben Johnson there, because you, you gotta you just gotta be better than that. You just got too cute in that second half, and I wasn't liking that at all, man. Just get into the rest of the, the offense, right? Jerry Goff, right? Jerry Goff was 18 for 23, 198 yards, two touchdowns, and a bad interception. He only had one, but the one he threw was 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 bad. I really didn't see where he was trying to even go with the pass. 
Um, but I think we saw from him what we pretty much expect from Jared Goff, game to game basis. Not dominating the football, not throwing for 30, 40 plus passes, right? Allowing the run game to establish itself and just making the right read. You know, I think other than that one pass that he had for the, because he, he didn't have a bunch of passes today that were just out of control, that were just, it was just the one. That was really the only bad Wait, pass that I saw from him. He played disciplined when nothing was there. He would just throw it in the dirt. He was, he even tried to throw one in the dirt and Montgomery caught it anyway and made, and made a play out of it. So he was trying yeah. to make the right play other than that pick. I was really happy with what I saw from Jerry Goff. What about you? Yeah, 18 for 23, man, two tutties. He played well. He played yeah. well. That first half, he played flawless football. Yes. Um, and you know that that one interception he was just pressing a little bit you know those mm -hmm. guys they start coming man and you know he stared that receiver down the entire way and tried to force yep. that football in there and it, it turned out being bad for us so mm -hmm. uh, i gotta bring it up because it's something that you're gonna hear from cardinals fans okay listen the two minute warning situation i mean as soon as it happened you've seen the rea reaction from jared goff um it's like what the hell you know why didn't y'all blow the whistle sooner because i just got hit but mm -hmm. A lot of the fans, they're going to say, uh, according to uh, one of the clocks on TV, that there was a second left. Well, when you look at the actual synced clock that mm -hmm. they have, that's, you know, synced up with the actual clock out there on the field, mm -hmm. it was not. You know what I'm saying? The ball was not snapped before the two-minute warning came. Gotcha. So, you know, you're going you're gonna to hear that from, from, from Cardinals oh, yeah. fans. I mean, it yeah, is yeah. what it is. We're Lions fans. We know all too well about those situations. We'll blame yeah. the game on one thing, and that's not the case. Um, yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, just had to bring that up. Had to bring Got that you. up. I'm on St. Brown, yeah. right? Seven catches, 74 yards, touchdown. Big catch late, right? On a big third and long play to help steal the game. That was major, but that's Sun God. That's what he does, man. He comes through when you need the most. Um, so right. he played well. J Mo was quiet, like you mentioned. Uh, one catch for nine yards. Right. I'm not really worried about that. St. Brown, in the first game of the season, he was quiet, you know, and he's been playing well ever since. So not too concerned about J-Mo. I do think Ben Johnson needs to get him more integrated in the offense and just involved in the offense instead of just these in the round plays like you mentioned. What you got? I not argue against your statement, but I argue against what Ben Johnson was doing this game. Okay. Their corners were the few weaknesses that defense has. And yeah. I felt like you made things a little too nice on them. Mm. Get J-Mo implemented. Blow the top off the top of that damn defense. Make them suffer, really suffer yeah. for trying to blitz you. You know what I'm saying? Use his yeah. speed, man. Hey, cross routes, whatever it is. Get J-Mo the ball. You know what I'm saying? And just put the Agreed. threat back there. You did all of that running the football to put them and to didn't. sleep. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you, didn't get and didn't. you didn't capitalize. The play action was working. It was Got working. You. Even Good Jared point. Goff, I mean, he finished the game off a of play action play, right? He ran the right. football. So... Right. Like I said, you know, it's it's the timing at times with Ben Johnson is just frustrating. It's like calling the right play at the right point of the game. Mm -hmm. It's just something he has to clean up as a coordinator. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. You're right. I think a lot of it is just being able to finish drives. You know, yeah. we have a ton of yards, you know, overall, but only 20 points to show for it. So I think it's a lot. It's just it's just and I, it's still early in the season. You know, it's still a lot of time to figure things out. And I think they will, but it's just kind of what we've observed so far that hopefully I'm sure they notice the same things we're seeing and hopefully they'll clean those things up. Sam Laporta, uh, two catches, 36 yards. Not bad, not great. Hope he's not uh, injured extensively. I saw he was kind of limping off the field a few times this game. So hopefully, you know, he'll be ready for next week. Laporta is just an ankle. Okay. Okay, man. Um, Just to finish up this thing on the offense, bro, through, through uh, three games, the highest scoring output is 26 points. You know what I mean? The offense needs to step it up a little bit. They went cold in the second half again, like you mentioned, um, as far as putting up points. I Jake agree. Bate, I was going to ask you. Stop missing them easy field goals, bro. I'm not concerned about it. He was perfect field goals and XPs all season so far. Yeah. So he missed. Now, if he misses another one in the next what, two or three games, then it's a problem. <laughs> yeah. But I'm, no, I'm not I'm too concerned yet. Like Even though we had Prater, man, Prater was like that at times. Yeah, he was you know, at times. He was more successful at long range kicks. That's just how it goes sometimes. But it, yeah, to, you know, you know, they said that when he was kicking, yeah. he was kicking the field goal. They said if it was just, it was a forty two yard kick here, if it was beyond fifty, we know for sure it's going to be good. Like <laughs> it's the yeah. it's the thing. So it definitely is a thing, like you're saying, for sure. Yeah. I, I, let, hold on. Let, let me say something. Okay. Okay. I think we need uh we need another hit. <laughs> Another football on the Lions hit. hit. <laughs> another Lions hit. Okay, done. Yeah, done. We, need, we need one. We need one mid season or towards the end of the season. Okay, okay. Going you to that a playoff joint. I got you. Yeah. There we All go. Right now, 
Okay, help me to it. Put my feet to the fire. All right. All right. I got you. We, we also right. need uh, bobbleheads, apparently. You and me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. let me close with this, bro. We mentioned it before. I want to mention it again. Anybody whose comment we didn't comment on here, make sure you drop it in the comments for this video so we can put it in the next video. We want to make sure we get to everybody's comment if it's a question that pertains to what we're talking about here and we miss it. You know, because we're, we're growing because of you guys. We might miss the comments because they're moving a little bit fast now. So if we miss it, just drop it in the comment section of this video and we'll be sure to get back to it. And then we talk about it from there. We don't hate none of